Hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Cute and Crafty and I am back with yet another fall decor video for you today. I am super excited about these four pieces that I'm going to share with you. We're going to be doing a little bit of primitive, a little bit of farmhouse, a little bit of Halloween, but really sticking to that fall vibe that I love. We are going to be using some Dollar Tree fabric and let's just jump right in. Starting out with the Dollar Tree fabric and a little bit of ribbon. I have some cardboard. Love using it. It's free. I've already got my shape cut out. We're going to be making candy corn if you can't tell. I've got a little bit of leftover chamois from the ghost that I made in a previous video. Some scrap pieces of Dollar Tree fabric in yellow and orange. And I also have some polyfill, some jute twine, my needle and thread, and my straight pins. And I'm going to show you this one piece, but of course you're going to have to make two of these. So you'll need two pieces of the white, two pieces of the orange, and two pieces of the yellow. You see how I have them stacked together so that I can make my piece of candy corn. And now you see me pinning them together so that I can get them sewn together to then cut out the piece that I need. This is the best way I could figure out to do it because of the scrap pieces I had. I had to kind of patch them together, but... It turned out super cute in the end. So you're going to need two pieces like this, a front and a back. Just making sure everything looks good on the other side, making sure that I have enough of each fabric to get the, the look that I want. And now I'm just going to trim around my cardboard. And then I'm going to sew my pieces together. I'm going to do this twice. And then I'm going to cut it out and then I'm going to sew both pieces of the candy corn fabric together. So you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me today for this video. As always, I am so happy and blessed to have you here. Welcome to my new subscribers. You guys are amazing. Thank you for choosing D's Cute and Crafty. And to my ride or dies that have been with me since the beginning of my journey, I love you. Thank you so much for coming back. So here you see I have my two pieces of candy corn sewn together individually and now I'm just going to pin them together right side two. I'm going to sew all the way around leaving myself a little opening at the bottom to stuff it and to flip it inside out or right side out actually and then we'll get it stuffed. This was really simple, really cute, made from scraps. Um... It would go cute sitting beside the little ghost that I did in a previous video. And I know candy corn is a very big topic as far as the debate on do you like it or if you don't like it. Most people think that candy corn is hideous. I actually like it. Sorry, not sorry. I like it. I only eat it in the fall. That's really the only time you can get it, I think. I've not seen it any other time, but... I digress. I like it. <laughs> anyway, so now that I've got that stuffed and sewn together, you guys, I am going to take my little fabric scrap and my ribbon that I showed you. I'm just going to make a little bow using that jute twine. I like to make my loops, stack them together, pinch them, tie them off, and then that's how my bow um, comes out. It, it never fails me. It works every time. So I stick with it. I was getting ready to sew this on and I thought, you know what, I want a button. So I grabbed my buttons from my stash and I picked a little yellow button. And we're going to sew that on right along with that bow. We're going to kill two birds with one stone and sew them on together. Once I get my bow and my button sewn on, this little beauty is done and ready to be displayed. There she is. I thought about putting some jute twine on it where the seams are and I thought better of it. I actually like it just the way it is, but of course you guys embellish it however you want. Mm 
You guys comment down below. Let me know if this one's your favorite of the four that I'm bringing you today. It is not my favorite. If you want to know which one is, keep watching. Moving on to DIY number two, I have two two inch cardboard rounds. I have one four inch piece of Dollar Tree fabric cut in a circle, as you can see. And I have a lot of Dollar Tree scrap fabric. We just used that yellow in the previous DIY. We're going to use some more. I've got some more batting, some jute twine. I've got some greenery, a button that I'm not going to use, and a floral stem. So you guys, I have been seeing these beautiful primitive and farmhouse sunflowers, YouTube, Pinterest, Amazon, everywhere. And I thought, you know what? I want to try my hand at that. And I usually see them, well, when I've seen them made, I saw them made with the mason jar lid and um, the little round disc that goes in the ring of the mason jar. And I did not have any mason jar lids that I was willing to sacrifice for this DIY. So we're just going to do a workaround. I knew I could make it. I just got to do it a little different. So we're going to use the cardboard rounds. So a two inch cardboard round. Then you add your batting. You go ahead and hot glue the batting to that, as you can see here that I've done. Then I took my fabric and I cut some little slits all the way around that circle of fabric so that it will be easy to fold it over and hot glue it to that cardboard on the back. This came out super cute. I love it. And yes, it is hands down my favorite of the four pieces that I'm going to show you today. Um, one, the next piece coming up actually goes with this piece. But it is its own separate little DIY. This is adorable. And I made several, like I said, because it was just so easy to make. And I had so much fabric and, and just scraps. Your imagination just runs wild. It, I love when you have a craft that you can really craft. You can just use whatever scraps you have and just, just go with it. So I love this one for that reason. Very simple very inexpensive and how cute is she so you can leave the back the way it is or you can take your other two inch cardboard disc and hot glue it to the back either way is fine because it really was you know very neat on the back and, and very well put together it, it wasn't messy or had a lot of glue so you really didn't have to cover it but i did because i wanted it a little bit neater and hindsight's 2020 i actually should have put my stem my floral stem glued it down before I put my cardboard disc on the back. So you guys do that. If you're going to make this, glue your stem down first, then put your cardboard disc on. I was just so excited about making it. I was just going with it. So here you see me taking a piece of that jute twine, the thicker twine that I get from Walmart, and I'm just going around the center disc of this beautiful sunflower. And then I'm taking the thinner jute twine that I get from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to wrap it around my floral stem just because that green was kind of bright. It was more spring than fall. So I figured if I cover it with some jute twine, it would fit in perfectly. And see here, you see me hot gluing this down to the back of that cardboard. It would have been neater and more put together had I glued it underneath. So, if you guys make that, make this DIY, glue your stem down first. I took um, some paint and covered everything on the back, so it looks a little more cohesive, but you can still see that it's some um, masking tape and, you know, the stem is glued down and covered with the masking tape, even though I painted it. I then added my floral and I was done. Now here is DIY number three that goes with the one we just did. Again, using that cardboard because it's free and I love it. And some more scrap um, little ribbon pieces. And then I have some black and white ribbon and my Hello Hobby in black and my Apple Barrel in Sunset. And I already cut out my pieces. I've got some um, skewer sticks two of those and I have a little bit of MDF and I made a two inch wood round with the MDF and I put a little tiny hole in it 
just so that I could put my skewer stick in it. So don't go through your your wood MDF, your little um, MDF board. Just barely put your little hole in there. So I took my pencil. You guys know I draw my things out. And I did a hand drawing of a crow, just a silhouette of the crow. And I did about nine of those. I'm going to use, I think, six for this one. What it ended up being is I just kept hot gluing them together until I got the thickness that I wanted the crow to be because I wanted it to be more like a chunky piece of wood. So I let the width of my ribbon determine the thickness of my crow because we're going to use that black and white ribbon to cover up the holes in the cardboard. You guys have seen me use this technique before and I love it. It works perfectly and you get a finished look and it's just adorable. Comes out really nice. So then I took the rest of my wood crow or wood crows, <laughs> cardboard crows, and I glued those together as well. And I had to cut my ribbon down to make it fit the width of the crow. Then I took my skewer sticks and I just pushed them through the ribbon and the cardboard. I didn't have to use glue or anything. And now you see me just taking my pencil and marking off the beak. I'm going to take my Hello Hobby in black. And give this one coat on each side, not using too much paint because you don't want it to um, make your cardboard bubble up or get all wonky. Now I'm going to take my Apple Barrel Sunset and go ahead and fill that beak in. I'm going to take my white marker from Dollar Tree and give my crow an eye. And this is just, just cute. I like it. I did a quick dry brush using the Rust-Oleum Chiffon Cream. Now I'm taking my Dollar Tree Wood Furniture Marker in the color black. And I'm just going to fill in that skewer stick and also the MDF. I took some hot glue, put it down in the little hole, attached my crow to that. I'm adding some of the jute twine just for stability and just for a little hint of that farmhouse I like. Jute twine always seems to lift a DIY up to farmhouse status for me. So I'm just going to put a little bit of it there. I'm going to take some of my raffia scraps. I've got some orange and black and neutral color. So I'm going to take that, make a little bow, and just hot glue that at the base of the neck of my crow. And this one stands on its own. You see me sanding it down a little bit because I have to. I can't help it. I've got to distress it. So I made one to stand on its own and another to sit in the bucket with my flowers. Those turned out absolutely amazing. I love this so much. You can see here that I did one that I painted on top of with the chiffon cream just to dirty it up a little bit to give it that primitive look. And then there's one in the back that I didn't do any painting on. I made it a little bit bigger. I left it as is. And you can see that crow in the back and I just put him on a skewer stick and stuck him down in there with the flowers and the moss. I didn't do anything special with the bucket because I'm just showing you how I'm styling it. The bucket is going to be used for something else. So moving on to DIY number four and the last one of this video, I have some Halloween words from Dollar Tree. I've got this ribbon from Joann's again, using that Dollar Tree scrap fabric or their fat quarters. They're not really fat quarters, but you guys have seen the fabric at Dollar Tree. And I'm also going to be using one of their birch stems, my Hello Hobby in chalk, my Rust-Oleum in chiffon cream, Dollar Tree acrylic paint in orange, and one of the Dollar Tree pumpkin signs. I've got a little bit of raffia that I'm going to use. Pull that out of my scrap. We're going to start out by taking this sign apart. This one is quick and easy and very cute. I love this one as well. You guys, if you're enjoying this video, if you like this content, and I truly hope that you do, please give it a big fat thumbs up. That lets YouTube know you're enjoying my content. They share me out. It helps me stay in the algorithm so that, you know, other people can see me as well. And it helps my channel grow. You guys, I am so grateful for that. I truly, really am. Thank you so much for that. So now that I've gotten everything off of the pumpkin, that paper came off really easy. So I was grateful for that as well. And now I'm going to take my really pretty pumpkin fabric and I'm just going to Mod Podge it to this pumpkin. 
This one is quick and easy, but it just looks amazing. I love simple, beautiful, rustic, farmhouse, primitive DIYs. I just do. They, I don't know. They just speak to me. It's my vibe. <laughs> so you see me mod podging this down. And then I'm going to set it to the side so that it can dry while I work on painting this little um, Happy Halloween pumpkin sign. You get three in a pack from Dollar Tree. I got these last year, actually. And I have not seen these out at Dollar Tree this year. So I don't know. I might have to make another run to Dollar Tree. So I'm going to start out by just painting my pumpkin in that orange paint from Dollar Tree. I added some chalk to it. I've had that paint in my stash for a minute. I added chalk to it so that it acts as a chalk paint. It did pretty good, actually. And instead of using the black paint, I decided to use a Sharpie because it was easier to, to get it filled in and make it black without all the goopiness of paint going down and all of the nooks and crannies of the words. So it was a really, really nice, easy application using the Sharpie. So now that my fabric has dried, I just took my um, X-Acto knife and I cut it out. And then I thought the words needed to pop a little more. So I took my white Dollar Tree marker and I just trimmed out the edges of the words, not the pumpkin, just the words. And it did pop more for me and I like it this way. Here you see me considering putting jute twine on. I didn't like it, so I didn't use it. Just going to hot glue the wording down to the bottom of the pumpkin. And then we're going to work on the stem or the peduncle, as it is called, the stem of the pumpkin. So I took my birch stem and I cut it in half so that I can use it to cover the top stem of this pumpkin. One piece was not long enough so I cut it in half and I'm going to just use two pieces flat which you get a better application if they're flat as opposed to them being round so hot glue and wood glue get those in place and then we're going to add our little bow to the top and this one's done put a jute twine hanger on the back and she's ready to be displayed. Once we get our bow on, we are good. So I have some more Dollar Tree fabric. I'm just going to take a couple pieces of that and make some loops with that. And then take my ribbon and make a couple loops with that. Add in some of that raffia. And then I'm just going to use the raffia to tie it all together. Just going to pinch it and tie it with the raffia. going to fluff everything out so that you can see all the different pieces. And then we're just going to hot glue it underneath that stem. Just going to turn it a little bit. Going to trim up that raffia a little bit. It's a little bit wild. So we're going to just trim it up a little bit. Of course, if you like that look, by all means, leave it that way, but I'm going to clean it up just a little. And this little beauty is ready to be displayed. I love it. Quick, easy, and something that I am absolutely proud to display in my home. Or to give to a friend, because it came out really cute. You guys, don't forget to thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. So here is the final reveal of everything that I've made for you today. You guys, like always, comment down below. Let me know which one's your favorite. Don't forget because I love hearing from you and I love responding. And I am anxious to see which one you picked as your favorite. Is it the same as mine? Is it the rustic and primitive flowers with the little crow? Is it the candy corn? Is it the pumpkin? You guys got to let me know.
As always, you guys, I need you to be blessed. Stay safe. And until I see you in my next one, craft something beautiful today, you guys. Bye.